Hey guys, this is Spencer966. Welcome back to another episode on YouTube. Uh, today I'd like to do a video on uh, my latest uh, purchase. I was I told you guys in my pre previous video, and you might have seen some track days and whatnot. I'd like to get a bit more serious about it, so I uh, ventured a uh, club in Victoria uh, to do like uh, autocross racing. So. I went, out, I went out and I decided to buy myself a uh, helmet for track days and all that stuff. So I looked around, there's actually there's not much, there's no auto racing store or anything in Victoria. So I looked around, I was able to get my hand on a bell uh, with the SA2015 rating at the local track where I have done a few track days. Um, it does not fit me well. I've rode a motorcycle for quite some time and I have a special, specially shaped head, I guess. and. Like a lot of the uh, the motorcycle helmet, the bell push here on my forehead. So I scoured the net, tried to find a uh, a proper auto racing helmet that would fit a little bit like a showy, showy or HGC or like my type of head helmet. Uh, it was really hard. There's not much choice. I finally found um, a I think it's a European uh, helmet sold uh, sold by Simpson. I, I took a gamble, measured my head like they say on the website and order one and thank God it actually fit uh, super nice. So this is what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is a little bit of what the helmet looks like and my little thoughts on it. Cause like I said, tried to look online, not not much, no videos, no nothing. So at least you'll be able to see it. All right guys, so, well, there it is. The Stilo Trophy de Jet. That's uh, French for I don't know, <laughs> but anyways, it's a French name, so that's how you pronounce it, de J. so D-E-S-G-J-E-T. Uh, like I said, there's not much on uh, online about this helmet, really, reviews or what whatnot, or even for As where I bought it, I bought it on the Simpson Racing website. I tried to look in Canada, they're pretty expensive. No, I, don't, I couldn't find this particular helmet anyways, so... Yeah, I decided to wear, to go with these guys. It came in, came packaged in this box, the Stilo box, and also um, came with like a, inside of another big box like this. So packaging was uh, A1. Also, service was pretty good. So this is what came in the box. You got the uh, the helmet cover, the helmet of course, and then you had two uh, two baggies, different foam covers. For your ear muffs and everything as you, if you can see inside here you do have the little holes for the uh, for the ears you have as you can see inside you have holes for the ears and those things i think covers them or change them depending if you have a uh, mic on or or whatever else so uh just by the way guys when i looked at the picture on the simpson uh, racing website i thought it was actually a white helmet turns out it's silver so just so you're aware from the back and you can see here so it says a trophy des um but the there's another like i said before there's another name after that's a j e t so it's trophy dj because there's a few trophy des they're under the rally um the rally tab for the on the website so also guys if you can see here this is an attachment for the um, the ANTS uh, safety device for your neck, neck brace and whatever else. Uh, you gotta buy them separately. Uh, of course, I didn't get them. Version of the helmet. This would be where you put your uh, your intercom wire from the car in. Uh, there's other helmet that comes directly with the uh, the mic. There's a uh, soft version that right here would have the mic come out. Uh, yeah, the mic. You just a normal little mic. Uh, flexible mic or you have the hard version that comes all the way here um, so I didn't need any of that it's gonna be a recreative racing so all right guys as far as uh, sizing I did take a uh, I did take a big guess on this one like I said I never tried this particular helmet before I was hoping it would fit me right so I went on the web the the still website used the, the recommending sizing technique and everything you know uh, I turned out to be a um, 60 inch I believe I was the large with 
was 59 and the XL as you can see here was a 61 so I kind of fall in between the two uh, the two sizes uh, according to the website or they say always go for the bigger one so I went with a 61 I'm usually a large I think these uh, were a little bit smaller than other kind of helmet so but it it was perfect fit. it came in put it on I was like wow this is like perfect so super happy about the sizing um, yeah, just a little FYI. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you exactly how it fits in my head. So what I like about this helmet is that uh, you can actually just pull on this and it ties it up. And then you have this little uh, red tag, just pull on this one and loosen it up right away. Super easy to use, one hand use. It fits amazingly well. You got, uh, this is what it looks. Uh, this goes up and down to adjust, not much, but just enough. Like I do see the difference when I'm looking from up to down. So that's a sun blocker or sun visor if you want. So, can't wait to try this on. International shipping was, I mean, it's it's always expensive, but it wasn't too, too bad. Uh, but it, it did arrive in like six days, which was amazing. I'm um, pretty happy with the whole experience. I would buy from them again, for sure. So yeah, guys, so that that's it for my... Uh, Kind of initial initial review on the Stilo Trophy DG. I'll have a follow up review on this helmet once I start using it. I should have my first autocross rate race next month, so um, maybe halfway through the season, halfway through the year, six month reviews type deal. See uh, how's the fit and how it's wearing down. Uh, I'll make sure to update you guys on it. Uh, also, if you like my channel, guys, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like this video if you like it. If you want to see uh, anything else. Uh, don't hesitate to leave me some comments. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much.